working in progress. You want to see uh, male hostility cranked up to 11? Here it is. Dilbert cartoonist Scott Adams has a bleak take on the dangerous young man problem. So this is a case where there was a mass shooting and this guy here, because he's older and he doesn't like young men, wants to make him an example of all young men. And when I read down here, he will want to strip these men of their rights. But I notice when the, the attacker is a female, there's not a peep from such people. How about our dangerous young woman problem? Baby-faced teen punched a man 58 unconscious in a brutal street attack. And yet notice when it, that happens, and by the way, this man passed away, and they let this girl off the hook. She's not a representative of any of those girls, and she's just an individual, and she's not even seen as guilty. So now we'll get into this. Now, after a mass shooting in Highland Park in Illinois, cartoonist Scott Adams is speaking out about what he calls the country's dangerous young man problem. And his conclusions by his own admission aren't easy to read. That's because they're disgusting. And the Dilbert creator also brought the overdose epidemic into the mix less than four years after his own stepson fatally overdosed, sorry, overdosed on that drug. His stepson overdosing on the drug has nothing to do with mass shooting. So let me put a wild guess. This guy, this is, I got to say, bad male behavior. He wants to get together with the woman and she has children and he tolerates the children, but he'd rather than not be there. He doesn't like this boy. That's what it was. <laughs> and so he's lumping in his own stepson in with mass shooters even though he just overdosed on a drug, okay? Now he says, the death among the young men teaches the same lesson and we've refused to learn it. It's difficult, but I'm qualified to give you this lesson, unfortunately. No, you aren't. No, you aren't. This won't be easy read, he says. The he's talking about 21 year old suspected uh, shooter allegedly sprayed dozens of rounds of gunfire in the Hollywood uh, holiday crowd, dressed as a woman to help in his escape and contemplated a second shooting before he was arrested. Funny how guys get this idea in their head that if they're seen as female, they will be treated with kid gloves. Funny about that, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> And again, that has nothing to do with his own stepson taking his own life. Now, he tweeted, when a young male, 14 to 19, is in danger to himself and others, society gives this supporting family two options. One, watch people die or kill, kill your own son. Those are your only options. I chose number one and watched my stepson die. I was relieved he took no one else with him. So you can see he wanted to kill his own son. He was basically saying, I took number one, but I wanted to take number two. But his own son, as far as we know, wasn't guaranteed to become a mass shooter, was he? No. So this guy just wanted to kill this boy, period. And of course, like I said, he talks about ages 14, 19, because he's well past that age. So he's safe. So this guy of course, and as you read on, will want to strip the rights from the young man. And he calls people delusional who want to help this young man out. Adams rejected the notion that services and ways to deal with such a teen exist. Wow, of course he refuses because he wanted to see this boy gone. Now, Adam's emotions appeared to be fueled by his own experience with his stepson, who personality changed after he was involved in a serious bicycle accident when he was 14. So this young guy got in an accident and got brain damaged. It's this, he's not even responsible, really. He says the injury the teen sustained caused him to lose his fear and his impulse control. Then he became addicted to drugs and nothing else mattered. 
So this is a tragedy for his stepson. And his stepson, he's saying, well, he became injured, so we should have put him down like a lame horse. That's the kind of dehumanization this guy, this disgusting person, this lowlife wants to do to young men who have done nothing wrong. Yet this young man might have been a mass shooter that has nothing to do with his stepson who did nothing but get into an accident. Oh my God. Now, if I were to invent a solution to the dangerous young man problem, I think it would involve putting them all in one place so they could only hurt each other. Not necessarily in jail, really, but where else would you put them? Just away from society. Once they are separated from society, maybe help is possible. Adams, you just got through saying, there's only two choices, let them die or shoot them. <laughs> now he acknowledged while seeming dangerous wasn't enough to take away someone's bodily autonomy. So society has in his opinion reached a place where it has to be considered. Told you, told you this disgusting low life wants to strip the, the rights of other men, specifically young men who if let's face it, most old men are resentful. I'm an old man, so I can tell you, I know how they think, we think. I can't say we, because I don't think like this, but I know what goes in these guys' brains. They get to a certain age, they're no longer young, and then they attack the young, younger generation. That's what these guys always do. Now, we will finish the comparison to how society treated this young lady with kid gloves. A drunken baby-faced teenager knocked a man unconscious in a vicious street attack has been cleared of, of his murder. Wow. Kelsey O'Hara was 19 when she punched Andrew Turner, 58, after he refused, uh, after her refused, I think they meant he, to apologize for bumping into her friend in Blingdington, East Yorkshire. So his son, he got into an accident, got brain damaged, and then got hooked on drugs. This young lady simply got pissed off. What's her excuse? Kelsey O'Hara was cleared of murdering Mr. Turner after punching him. He fell to the ground and hit his head after being punched. Mr. Turner fell to the ground. Yes, I just said that. And it knocked him unconscious. He died six days later. In September last year, with Humberside Police launching a murder investigation, Hall Crown Court heard that O'Hara, now 20, punched Mr. Turner and wouldn't, who, yeah, who wouldn't say sorry to her pal. Oh, that's, that's a good reason to attack someone. Leaving him with a cut of five to seven inches to the back of his head. Now look at this, but experts told the court that despite her victim passing away so soon after the violent attack, O'Hara was not responsible for his death. So what, they, they didn't put her away for assault? And notice they give you no details. Why wasn't responsible? Was it a, did he die of a heart attack? Well, what did he die of then? But notice I don't see them saying what? So my assumption is, of course, that she did cause him damage. But uh, I'll, you can read the rest of this. But I'm just pointing out that, again, when young girls attack guys and notice they're fearless because they know there's no, there's no consequences for them. And by the way, these young guys, Adams, who go ape shit, know why they go ape shit? Because unlike this girl, they have no outlet. They can't just get angry and punch someone in the face without severe consequences. So when they've had enough, they go all the way. They're like a, they're like a furnace being held back and explodes. Where these kid, kids, they get to just do what they like. They get to act out and now she's free, no consequences. Because we know that society wants young, let young girls off the hook. Anyway, this guy 
is the lowest of the low. <sighs> Disgusting beyond belief. And that is what I'm going to end with here. Bye, everyone.